Welcome to Soul Society. In this video, I will talk about how to treat asthma with herbal tea. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease of the airways. During an attack, the bronchial lining becomes inflamed, and thick mucus forms. Hence, respiratory distress, chest tightness, wheezing and coughing fits. Those affected appear agitated and their heart rate increases. An asthma attack can last from a few seconds to several hours, in the most severe cases. The bronchi overreact to certain stimuli by contracting, which decreases their caliber. Allergic asthma is differentiated from non-allergic asthma, the mixed form is common. An allergic asthma attack is triggered by outside stimuli, such as pollen, cigarette smoke, house dust mites, or animal hair. The triggering factors of a non-allergic asthma attack are generally infections of the respiratory tract, but also overwork, stress, psychological tension, medication, cold, and pollutants present in the air. Forty grams of ivy leaves, fifteen grams of sea grape flowers, five grams sundew, forty grams common thyme. Take ten grams of the mixture of medicinal plants for herbal tea. Boil in two hundred milliliters of water for two to three minutes without covering. Remove from heat and filter to drink in small sips. Fifteen to twenty-five grams of yucincao, hatunia, three to nine grams of jiagang. Bellflower root, 1.5 to 3 grams of muhu dye, or oxali indici seeds, 3 to 9 grams of chen hu, rhizome of pusedonym, 1.5 to 9 grams of gone cow, licorice root. Boil the mixture of medicinal plants in 1.5 liters of water, for about 10 minutes, without covering. Use room temperature, low chlorine water whenever possible, tap water should be soft. If boiling over medium heat, simmer for another 15 minutes. Then add 100 to 200 milliliters of cold water. When a total of 25 minutes has elapsed, remove the herbal tea from the heat and strain. Drink yourself 250 milliliters, about the same as a cup, in small sips. The rest of the herbal tea can be stored in the refrigerator. You warm it briefly on the plate before drinking it again. There will be enough for about 3 days. 40 grams of ivy leaves, 40 grams common thyme, 3 to 9 grams of jiagang, bellflower root, 1.5 to 9 grams of gone cow, licorice root, refer to the Chinese preparation. Thins the mucus of the respiratory tract, facilitates expectoration, relaxes, relieves irritation, stimulates blood circulation. Please note that if the preparations do not indicate the same quantities, always use the smallest first. If necessary, it can be increased according to the constitution and the tolerance of each, to accentuate the effect. The best results are obtained by drinking a cup of hot herbal tea twice a day, and if possible, half an hour after the meal. Stick to a schedule that suits your biological rhythm. This precaution promotes the healing process. For example, you could take a European herbal tea, 200 milliliters, in the morning and a Chinese herbal tea, 250 milliliters, in the afternoon every day. But you can also choose a single variety of herbal tea, and drink it twice a day, as follows, two European herbal teas, 200 milliliters each, Chinese herbal teas. 250 milliliters each, or two Euro-Asian herbal teas, 250 milliliters each. Always drink your herbal tea slowly, in small sips. You can sweeten your herbal teas with agave syrup, birch sugar, maple syrup, or honey. According to your taste, birch sugar and stevia are recommended for diabetics and people watching their line. Do not use synthetic sweeteners. Always consult your doctor and, or natural health practitioner before treating yourself with medicinal herbal teas. 
the causes of the ailments must first be clarified medically, more so if they are persistent and recurrent. If after using medicinal herbal teas for a week, the symptoms do not regress, it is advisable to stop drinking them and start taking them again a week later. It is quite possible that a therapeutic effect is at work without it being perceived subjectively at first but observed later. This is explained by the extraordinary principle of synergy that operates here between two medicinal traditions. In the next video, I will talk about how to treat bronchitis with European and Chinese herbal tea. If you like this video, subscribe to Soul Society. Thanks for watching.